You can't spell William Lee without one W and a bunch of L's. That's actually a good one, dude. <laughs> Alright, you got it. That's actually pretty good. I'll try out Talon. I feel like this is an interesting champion. Especially... Uh, he might not be necessarily that good as a champion, but in solo queue, I think you can get away with a lot of stuff on him. Talon used to be my, my best champ, or like what felt like my best champion in solo queue, and then the more I played him, the more I thought otherwise. What's the point of water walking early? When we're uh, gathering from early? I just think it's generally just a good keystone to have. Um, I think gathering storm is interesting, or uh, water walking is interesting. I find a lot of times I roam bot lane and I don't use the river as Talon. It's different than junglers who have to take scuttle, like, all like over walls and shit, and all of a sudden the water walking becomes a lot less relevant for me. In this situation, if you see that the admin laner has resolved, there's no reason for you to go a longsword, unless you just think that they suck. Water walking helps you fight scuttle with your jungle. I don't think you need the move speed to help fight scuttle. Like, you fighting Scuttle is only depending on if you can wave clear mid lane as comparative to the other mid laner. Oh man, my clothes smell like fresh detergent. try this. I'm not fully sold on the fact that I like CDR boots over Mobis. Generally think Mobis lets letting you roam and like you being Talon so you wanna roam is like a perfect combination. This is kind of how I see Talon play as like a champion. However, usually what ends up happening is the better laners I play against, the worse I feel the strategy is. It feels like, it feels like a lot of times you have to just hope your roam works out and that the enemy team isn't paying attention to you roaming. And if they aren't, well then cool, you pick up a free kill or two. But um, a lot of times I feel like rather than it being you playing well, it's that the enemy team just plays terribly. And generally, I don't think that that's sustainable the higher LP you go. And that's generally why, as I'm playing more AP Nunu as I go up the ladder, I'm losing more because the players I'm playing against are better, and the junglers I'm playing against can punish me really hard. And it's like a really, really, really difficult situation for me. It's kind of true for some of the picks that I play. Like, the more off meta it is, the closer I get to my actual skill level and the, like, the better players I play against, the reason why they're not meta is because they're just not good champions. And they get like exposed pretty hard. It was warded shit. It's alright. Oh, they got the warden the time I wasn't looking. I was wondering if it was warded. I 
I, I feel like these games, I'm just getting edged, edged on it because, my god. Some of these games, I feel like I'm playing like decently well, definitely well enough to win, but oh my god, it is, it is definitely a struggle. Tried to camp for me there. Oh, let's go. Your beast, your beast, your beast, your beast, your beast. I'm level 18, I can kill a lot. Oh, he went GA. Oh, that sucks. Did we pop it last time? I don't think so. It wouldn't let me eat over this wall. Hmm, that's interesting. Holy shit, I can't believe we won this game. I sold out a really long time. Holy shit, do I sell my Edge of Night for Essence Reaver? <laughs> Why am I playing the dumbest builds? Uh, that's 70% crit. As well as a lot of the CDR I was missing before. Oh, that sucks for E was up. I wish I, I knew someone who played talent and can tell me what item build am I supposed to go at six items regardless of build. Cause I, I'm thinking I need to sell something for IE. I just, I'm not sure which. I messed up my target and actually killed Kaisa. That was so bad. Also, my FPS dipped to like nothing there. My build might be a little bit too aggressive, I agree. Oh my goodness.